this is the first video in a series I hope to do on a regular basis covering AR-15 tech tips. So in this episode, we're going to discuss your brand new nickel boron bolt carrier group. Uh, let's say you just recently completed a purchase and you expected your nice shiny nickel boron bolt carrier group to show up looking like this one. And let's imagine that it does show up, but instead of looking like the nice shiny one I just showed you, it looks like this one. Now, for many people, this probably will not be an issue. Uh, you'll get it and you'll look at it and say, okay, I'll put it in the gun and it'll work and, and there we go. Um, but for uh, another group of people, they expected to receive a, a shiny, polished, nickel boron bolt carrier group and instead they got something that looks like this. It's dull, it's sticky, uh, it, it basically looks like it's, it's a, a used bolt carrier group. But let me assure you that what you received, if you didn't indeed receive one of these, is not a used bolt carrier group or a second or a blem uh, or anything of that nature. This is a nickel boron bolt carrier group um, before it's been polished. And that's, that's just how it is, straight and simple. Um, these types of plating, they don't come out shiny. They don't. Um, somebody has to sit down and polish these things to a nice shine and then put them together. Now this situation seems to be happening more and more often. And I've discussed it with numerous manufacturers and they have all sorts of different excuses and why this is happening and why it continues to happen. And, you know, I just have to say, well, you know, if I'm a manufacturer and I order, you know, 100,000 of these or however many they're ordering and I get a shipment into my warehouse, I mean, if it was me, yeah, I can't look at every single one of them, of course. That's a lot. But you know what? I can go and I can spot check them. I can open up the box and pull out one or two. Open up another box, pull out one and two, one or two. Uh, you know, and it wouldn't take a lot of time to do that. Uh, and confirm that these items are up to my quality standards. But what's happening is manufacturers are getting these in like this. They're not spot checking them. They're sending them out to distributors and distributors are selling them to customers and customers are getting pissed off and calling up and yelling at the distributors and they in turn, the distributors, call up and yell at the manufacturers. So the manufacturers have to continually backpedal with excuses on why they allow stuff like this to con continually go on. Now this isn't you know, I'm not picking on any particular manufacturer, so I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to draw attention to any one particular manufacturer. Um, this bolt carrier group is, is made by Spikes Tactical. This bolt carrier group, as you can see, is a fail zero. Now, this is a semi-auto bolt carrier group, and it is suffering from the exact same problem. This is, uh, you know, the exo nickel boron, uh, and it's not polished. It's a, it looks, the finish of this is looks exactly the same. It feels the same. It looks the same as the spikes. It is basically a non-polished bolt carrier group. So you can get one of these and just say, eh, put it in the gun. It's going to work, and you're going to get the benefits of the nickel boron plating, uh, and so on. So if cosmetics are, are not a concern to you, then you don't need to watch the rest of this video and then complain to me about how I'm anal about cosmetic issues. Yes, I am fucking anal about cosmetic stuff. That's just me. So, when I spend my hard-earned money on something like this, when it's advertised to look like this, and I get this, I have an issue with it. So, if this happens to you, you can do one of two things. You can send the bolt carrier group back to who you bought it from and ask for another one. 
But I'll tell you right now, that's no guarantee that you're going to get one that meets your, your criteria. Because whoever you got it from may have several hundred in stock and they may all look like this. Now your other option, uh, if you buy from a, a, a manufacturer, a reputable manufacturer, and I'll, I'll use Spikes Tactical for example, you can call up Spikes Tactical and say, I'm dissatisfied with this finish. And they'll give you an RMA number and you'll send it in. And hopefully they send you one that is polished. And Spikes Tactical has a lifetime warranty on these components. They honor their warranty. Um, they're uh, quick to respond. Um, and for the most part, they're not going to give you any hassle. So you can go that route as well. So you can send yours in and, and wait for however long it takes to get a replacement and then hope that you get a polished one in return. So th those are some options as well. Now, if you don't want to send it in, I'm going to tell you how to fix this problem. This is my tech tip here. So, like I mentioned, nickel boron. Um, you have a high nickel content. What you see here is basically oxidation from the plating process. If you want it shiny, you need to polish it. And you can do this without any expensive tools. So let's talk about what you need to do this process. The number one important item that you're going to need to polish this up is some polish. Now, this is Mother's. This is Mag and Aluminum Polish. I like this stuff. It works great. And it, it's designed for uh, primarily aluminum wheels. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not designed for gold plating, chrome, anodized, painted, or coated metals. Um, I guess you could kind of say that nickel boron is a coating, but <clears throat> uh, uh, aluminum, aluminum wheels, um, uh, has a, or aluminum has a certain uh, amount of nickel boron, or not nickel boron, has a certain amount of nickel in it as well. So as you, if, as you polish aluminum, uh, aluminum can oxidize and get dull as well. So this, this polish is primarily made for that, but I found that it works very well on nickel boron bolt carrier groups. And let's see, what else are we going to need? Hold on just a moment. We're going to need a couple of rags. So we have our mother's polish. This is what I like. Um, I've tried Neverdull polish. Uh, I don't like Neverdull. Uh, it doesn't shine like uh, the, the mother's uh, polish does. Uh, you're going to need a couple of rags for this process. Um, I use one rag for applying the polish. I use another rag for actually uh, wiping down the surface when I'm done. Uh, you're also going to need a gratuitous amount of uh, Q-tips for this process, uh, and I'll, I'll show you why in, in a little bit. You're going to also want to take your bolt carrier group apart. You're going to want to take your firing pin um, and your bolt out. So you'll need the appropriate tools for doing that, which may or may not include uh, a, a small hammer and a punch. Um, we'll need a punch. We'll need a small hammer. Um, uh, so let's get started on this. I think, uh, oh yeah. While we're at it, after we're done polishing, we're going to oil up the bolt carrier group. I have some Spikes Tactical Gun Oil, which I happen to like. Uh, so I have some of that handy. So what we're going to do, um, first off, is we're going to take the bolt carrier group apart. So we're going to take our firing pin, retaining pin, out. Remove our firing pin. Now, on the Spikes nickel boron bolt carrier group, this firing pin here, uh, I believe it's a stainless steel firing pin, this doesn't require any polishing. The fail zero bolt carrier group I showed you has a nickel boron plated bolt carrier group that does require polishing, so I'm going to keep in mind. Alright, our bolt is out. We'll set the bolt aside because what we're going to do is we're going to work with just the bolt carrier group first. Now this is what I've found that works. You can experiment 
you know, on your own uh, and come up with your own process that, that, uh, that you feel comfortable with. Um, what I do on the bulk carrier group is I work in, in a, a section first. So, for example, I'm going to polish, obviously I'm not going to polish this whole thing on video, it would be extremely boring. I'm going to polish roughly this area right here multiple times. Uh, I do this four times and then I'll move on to another area uh, and of course you want to make sure you get all of the crevices that you can get um, and then I'll wipe it down, I'll flip it over and then I'll work on this area. So we're going to do the gas key in the top part here and around here um, and we'll do the bottom uh, and I'll, I'll show you what, the Q, what I'm going to use the Q-tips for in a little bit. So I'm just going to do one small area and I'm going to show you how I normally do this. I take a bit of the polish on my rag and I'm going to do this and I'm going to get every little area I possibly can. Now I'm going to do this until my rag is covered in, in black and what what you see here, this is oxidation that's coming off during the polishing, pro polishing process. I've, uh, I've filtered, or uh, I've received a lot of emails that I have to filter through where people get, or other customers or other uh, users buy a bolt carrier group like this and they go to clean it and they see this and they're like, oh my god, i got to use bolt carrier group. Look at all this fouling. This is not fouling from a bolt carrier being used in a firearm. This is oxidation from the plating process. I can't stress that enough. Uh, and I'm actually getting kind of tired of saying that. Um, but I'm going to do that and then I'm going to move to a, a clean area and I'm going to I'm going to start the process again and I'm going to cover my one area. I'm going to do it four times And don't forget every area, you know, get the end, get the end of the bolt carrier group, get inside the little grooves, uh, the channels. If you're extremely anal, you can get inside of here uh, and polish inside of there. Um, there's some grooves down here that may or may be too difficult for you to get in with a rag. Now that's where our Q-tips are going to come into play, or one of our uses. Um, I'm dipping the end of the Q-tip into the polish and I'm sticking the Q-tip into the channels and I'm running it back and forth and you can see all the oxidation that's coming off of this and I'll do this three or four times, five times until it gets nice and shiny with the Q-tip. Now your Q-tips are also going to be handy for doing cleanup when you're done polishing. As you're polishing this, you're going to get polish in, in the holes. You'll probably get, end up with polish in crevices, maybe in the gas tube, and maybe inside of the channel here where your bolt goes. So your Q-tips are going to come in real handy to do fine, final cleanup work. Now your Q-tip also is going to come in handy, um, like I mentioned, for doing channels, for polishing, you can use the Q-tip to get down into this area, which is kind of hard to get to, and right down around where the, the, the shroud is for the firing pin. It's very useful to get down in there if you want to polish that area. Um, like I said, I'll do sections. I'll do three or four um, passes with a polish, um, with a polish rag. I'll wipe it down and you know I might do it five times or six times. It depends on how bad uh, the finish is on the bolt carrier group. Um, I don't have anything else to add about that polishing process. I'm not going to do polish the whole thing obviously. I, I'll do that off camera and I'll show you the end result. Now moving on to the bolt, um, the bolt's a little bit, um, if, if you want to polish your bolt, uh, most, li most likely your bolt is in the same condition as the carrier. Uh, I start out with uh, polishing the end three or four times, and then I'll polish this inner area three or four times, and then I'll move on to doing the body. I'll actually do a little bit of that on camera. 
because I want to demonstrate what I'm going to have to do afterwards. Um, if I'm doing the body like this, you'll notice I can't really do much around the uh, bolt lugs right there. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so let's let's imagine that I polished this four or five times, wiped it down, polished it, and I got it looking good. Um, <clears throat> what you're going to end up, what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up getting polish uh, inside of the extractor. So now this is where your punch and your small hammer may come into play because uh, when you're all done here and this is all cleaned up, you're going to want to um, remove your extractor with your pin punch. Normally you can do this by hand without having to use a hammer. Um, this one happens to be on here pretty tight. I'm going to have to uh, use the hammer on this. So let me go ahead and uh, I'll do this off camera uh, and we'll take a look at it. Okay, once, once we get that uh, retaining pin out, we'll move, our, we'll move the extractor. And you may or may not be able to see this but your polishing process, you're going to end up getting some polish on the inside here possibly around the Viton O-ring and on the, the extractor and then of course there will probably be some polish on the actual inside of your bolt here so once you get it apart again break out a Q-tip go in with the Q-tip, clean up any residue that you have left over from the polishing process clean the bolt, clean the extractor, and when you're all done you can oil this up using some of, some of the oil of your choice, whether it's CLP or the Spikes Tactical Oil, whatever you prefer to use. Uh, oil everything up nice and put it back together. Okay, so you're going to want to remember to do that. Now, um, the tricky part of polishing the bolt is doing the lugs and in between the lugs and uh, inside the bolt face right here. Again, our Q-tips. You can see I'm just I'm dabbing, dump, or I'm dunking the Q-tip into the polishing compound, and I'm using the Q-tip to polish the tops of the lugs and in between the lugs. And of course, you can see um, the oxidation that's coming off. And you may have to do this three or four times. I know a Q-tip is not the best item to use for polishing, but chances are you're going to have a ton of Q-tips around for gun cleaning. And we're basically repurposing uh, existing tools that we have for this process. And we're just going to repeat this until you get it uh, cleaned up and shiny to your liking. Um, and then of course the bolt face here, same thing. We're going to go in and we're going to polish the bolt face four, five, six times, however long it takes. And the only thing you want to be careful about is you just, you don't want to just jam polish like into your uh, e ejector pin area. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to take that out and, and clean around that. Um, uh, I'm always uh, a little bit of, uh, a little cautious about uh, that area. I don't want to. I don't. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging to to, to hammer that uh, uh, roll pin out. So I try to avoid doing that if I can. Um, when you're done, again, make sure that you've got all the residual polish taken care of. You know, your Q-tip can fit in the end here. You squeeze it in there, you can clean out that, uh, and so on. Um, like I mentioned, if you have a nickel boron plated um, firing pin that's also dull, you can use some of the polish on the firing pin and shine it up. This one happens to be stainless steel, so uh, it doesn't need any polishing. Um, this is going to take uh, approximately 30 minutes. It takes me about 30 minutes. I've done enough of them, so I'm, I'm, I've gotten uh, a little experience doing this. So I'm going to finish polishing this up off camera, and we'll come back and take a look at the final, final results. 
Okay, here's the uh, polished uh, bolt carrier group. Um, you can see uh, it is uh, highly polished, very shiny now. Um, there, there are a few spots, uh, a few small little black spots that are uh, kind of difficult to polish out, um, especially right around the uh, carrier key. Now, if we compare that to a another spikes the other spikes tactical, the highly polished one that you uh, would expect to get, you can see the one I polished is actually shinier. So. Um, it's really hard to tell the difference between these two unless you really look closely and uh, at them. Um, the highly polished one from Spikes, it's kind of got a satin finish to it, not quite as shiny. The one I just polished after about 30 minutes is highly polished and very shiny. So um, you can see also on this one how I cleaned up around the lugs with the q-tips. Uh, the polishing also does not rub off the spider logo here. Um, uh, after you know five or six times on this the spider logo is not affected in any way shape or form. Um, that may be a laser etched logo that's on there. If it was just silk screened I'm sure I would have polished through it. And of course, the made in the USA on the back, that's, that's actually etched into it, so of course that won't be affected. Um, what may not be completely visible on cameras around the gas key. Uh, there are a few areas of discoloration around the gas key that regardless of how much polishing I've been doing on the gas key, I, I can't get that um, completely polished out. Uh, I suspect that the gas keys might be polished or might be nickel boron plated separately in a separate process and then these are assembled. Uh, I don't know that, that's just conjecture. Um, and the only reason I'm saying that is because I can get a nice finish on the bolt carrier but the gas key is a little bit more troublesome. So different materials, different plating process, I don't know. But uh, if I wanted to spend another 30 minutes or so I might be able to get that out but uh, uh, 30 minutes is about all I uh, allocated to polishing this one. So um, I think I'm going to wrap up this video, this tech tip video on how to polish up your bolt carrier group. Um, actually I have another bolt carrier group that I'm actually polishing right now. I should have grabbed it beforehand. I'm actually polishing more than one. So I'll take the original shiny spikes one away. So we have our highly polished one and we have before. So this is uh, another spikes tactical um, bolt carrier group that um, was just like the first one that we started out with that we polished. So you can see a, a before and after a substantial difference in the finish with just a little bit of polishing. Yeah, hopefully that's pretty good side-by-side -side comparison for the finish hopefully. So I'm going to wrap this uh, tech tip video up. Uh, hopefully it's of use to you if you run into this situation uh, with your own bolt carrier group.